Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to take a look at the Palomino SS500. This camper is equipped for a compact truck like a Toyota Tacoma or GMC Canyon. As we get started on the outside, you'll notice we have the cool gray high gloss exterior gel coated fiberglass. We have a friction hinge door that opens up and simply stays right where it is. We also have your built-in blind right here with the integrated window. We have a porch light with an on-off switch on the outside here. This black box is so you can add an observation camera. That way you can see behind you the entire time while traveling down the road. Oversized grab handle. The roofs are all electric for the lift system here. And as you can see, there's an extra port for an electrical outlet so you can upgrade to power jacks if you wanted to. Currently, it comes with a manual handle so you can crank those up and down. And then it also has this adapter here for your cordless screw gun so you could use that to run the jacks up and down as well. There will be four uh, roof latches, one at each corner. We have a 20 pound LP tank bottle that will be filled by the Outpost RV. We have your refrigerator ventilation, a couple 110 outlets. This is a 30 amp unit. It comes with a 25 foot detachable power cord. As we move around to the front side here, underneath this red key is a 12 volt cutoff switch that will kill all 12 volt power to the battery. This is just a little holder for your seven way cord. So if you unplug it from the camper, you can hang it here. We have a direct line to the battery so you can add extra solar or a battery charger there. And last but not least, we have your seven way cord. Um, it's a double sided seven way male cord. So it plugs in right here. That'll run all the way to the back of your truck and plug into the back of your truck and that will give power to the camper when you're traveling. If you're gonna park overnight or for a couple days, I'd recommend unhooking this, hanging it over here. That way, if your batteries die on the camper, it will not drain your truck batteries. And as we move around to the front side, you'll notice we have the black canvas, the black front here, really sharp look. That canvas will open up all the way around, get a lot of airflow inside there. We have your fresh water fill. So if you're dry camping or boondocking, you can fill up your fresh water tank, turn on your water pump on the inside and use that water. You have your furnace vent, also your on-demand water heater. It's on-demand, so it's gas only, but you're only using gas when you're running hot water. So about 60% more efficient than what we've used in the past. We have your city water fill. So if you're at a campground, you hook your water hose up here and that'll pressurize the lines for you. And last but not least, we have your outside shower. It's a low pressure um, shower with hot and cold water. That concludes our outside walkthrough. Well, I apologize, we got one more thing off to the back side here. We actually have your um, drain for your sink. So you'll hook up a piece of garden hose there, catch the runoff in a tow, and your sink will run right out the side of the camper. And that concludes the outside walkthrough for the SS500. And now we'll take a look at the inside. As we move to the inside, you'll notice we have the U-shaped dinette there. Um, underneath that, we have your converter with the green light is gonna be your carbon monoxide detector and 110 outlet. We have the carpeted step that will lift up. There is some storage under there. And that dinette also turns into another sleeping area. So the table leg can store underneath. The table will fold down and create another sleeping area. We have your cargo net storage over here on the right hand side. Over on the left, we are going to have your remote, which will power the roof system for you. And if you upgraded to electric jacks, that would also run the jacks as well. Extra storage right inside the door here. Up top is going to be the switch that will send power for your jacks. You simply turn that on with the green light and there will be power to the jacks. I'm going to step inside. We'll show you the refrigerator here. This is a three-way fridge, so it is gas, electric, and 12 volt. So you can run that whatever works best for you when traveling down the road. We have counter space right up above that. We have your hanging storage. As you can see, this one has a shelf built into it. We also have more storage right up above the dinette. We have a uh, your mattress up front here and a large um, vent fan right up above the bed. You can add an air conditioner to this model if you would like to. There's going to be another vent fan right up above here. I'm sorry, it's not a fan, but just a regular vent. And the air conditioner would take place of that vent right there. We have a window down by the dinette area. Windows on both sides of the dinette as well. 
And with the screen going around, we have the deep tinted vinyl. As you can see, we have it opened up there. It also has the curtain that you can pull down for privacy, but that will get um, opened up all the way around the camper and let lots of airflow in here. Over the kitchen area, we have more storage up top. Counter space with your sink, which also comes with this cover. So you can use that as prep space as well. Two burner stove, and that is gonna have the glass cover. So if you're not cooking, you could use that as prep space. And as you can see, the two burner stove there. Down below, we're gonna have your switch for your water pump. We have your furnace and then that cargo storage right down below. In the very back, right up above the entrance door, we actually have one more um, exhaust fan, and this one will have a 12 volt fan built into it as well. And that will conclude our walkthrough of the Palomino SS500. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, feel free to give myself or Henry a call at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.